We love having the ability to move our work tables around the workshop effortlessly. Since now to achieve that we have used store-bought caster wheels. Since we will need plenty of casters for upcoming projects, we have to figure out a way to make them ourselves. This way we could put our plywood scraps to good use and save some money. So one evening I was messing around in Fusion 360 and came up with a simple caster wheel design. To make it all we would need is some M8 screws, nuts and washers, a couple of bearings and a little bit of plywood. After nesting the components and adding two paths, the caster wheel was ready for the CNC operations. First I cut the components for one caster. I wanted to be sure the concept would work before committing to making more of them. After the CNC operations I used our router table to trim the component edges. The next task was assembling. As the first step I added a screw to the base panel. Then I could add some washers. These serve as distancer between the base panel and the caster's side components. I used the nut to secure the washers in place. Then I could add one of the bearing holder components install the bearing and secure it in place by adding another M8 nut. Then I could attach the other bearing holder part. The main axis was done and I could assemble the wheel. To do so I added a washer to the screw and installed it in one of the sides of the caster. Then I could add an M8 nut that would help us position the bearing for the wheels. Before installing the bearing I added one of the wheel components. Then I could use another nut to secure the wheel bearing in place and add the other wheel side. I decided to glue the wheel components together. I probably could have done it before attaching the bearing to the axis. This would be way easier and faster. Anyway, when the wheel axis components were in place, I had to attach the caster's base module to the side panel. When that was done, I could attach the other caster's side. I had to add a washer and a nut to the wheel axis to finish the caster. And the result looked great, so I loaded another plywood offcut on the CNC and made more casters. One of the new casters was the same as we built before, and the other two had brakes. The brake option is more or less the same, it just has another screw between the side components that holds the brakes. For the brakes I used the same mechanism that is used for the camp clamps. To test how good the casters are, I used an offcut from our material storage rack as a base to attach the wheels to. It will help us to understand how well the casters perform. After attaching the casters to the plywood offcut, I tried it on the workbench. It worked, so I had to try it on the floor as well. Then I decided to add a dumbbell. I think this one weighs around 30 kilograms. the casters could carry the weight with these. It means the project is a success and we will be using these in our upcoming projects. To make casters like these for your workshop, you can get the free DXF files at theribobox.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.